Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do August favorites. I'm a little late, but better late than never. And I have so many fun goodies here. So I do have makeup, of course. I've got a little bit of fragrance, but I also have a bit of fashion. I did buy some sweaters in the month of August with some of my birthday gift cards. And so I'm going to go ahead and share some of those with you as well, since we are now coming into the fall season. So if you are interested in seeing my August favorites, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as I'm looking at all of my favorites here, I want to go ahead and give you fair warning that it is a little eyeshadow heavy this past month. So there seems to be a lot of launches of eyeshadow and I do have some favorites. So I think we'll jump right in. So first I have a surprise hit and this is from Guerlain and this is one of the Ombre G eyeshadow quads and I had never really tried any Guerlain eyeshadow before. I of course have used their bronzer for years, um, other little lip items and such, but they launched some new beautiful quads and I did have to give one of them a try and I love the formula so much that I'm contemplating getting another color story because they all looked so beautiful but as I said there was already enough eyeshadow the past month and this month as well um, but I ended up picking this one up in Imperial Moon and I just love it. This is like right up my alley here. I'm actually wearing it today. This is what I have on my eyes. And the reason I love this is it's very reminiscent of a Tom Ford eye quad. But yep, it has the Tom Ford eye quad price as well, <laughs> close to. But it has one of these beautiful topper shades up here. And it's just got a few different mix of shadows. So it's got like a matte, a satin, and one of these beautiful topper shades. And this one just is so pretty. It just is right up my alley. It's got this beautiful sort of taupey shade. It's got this gorgeous topper with a little bit of silver in it. It's got a matte black shade as well as I would say a perfect crease color kind of in that peachy beige tone that I really love. So this one has been a complete winner and I do tend to wear the little sh topper on the day-to-day -day basis but I was going to say you can totally make a very everyday eye look just using the three outer shades and then if you want to glam it up for the evening you can pop on this topper but the quality is here gorgeous quad and I love it. So wanted to share that that was a surprise hit because I'd never tried any eyeshadows from Guerlain and I was very impressed with the quality and the color story. Now Dior also launched some really pretty fall quince and I fell in love with this one right here. It is so pretty you guys and this one is Mirror Mirror and I just really loved the tones in this quad because of my eye color. This one over here is this beautiful khaki with some green olive undertone over there and then it's got this pop of orange. So if you are somebody who has hazel eyes or green eyes this really does make your eyes pop because even the deepest shade here is almost like a little bit of a plummy brown tone to it. So I just really fell in love with this one and I can see myself really gravitating towards this once the weather shifts just a bit. We're starting to get into the 70s here so definitely a little shift from summer to fall. And then along with this launch they actually launched a colored mascara in brick and I went ahead and picked this up 
And this again was a surprise hit because let me just show you this color. I was a little bit scared of this, but it looks so pretty on the lashes. And again, this color almost brings out a little bit more green in my eyes. Brick terracotta color is deep and rich enough on your lashes that you can wear it alone but you also can put on a coat of black and then sort of do the tips with the brick so if this is still available i'm not sure it kind of sold out really quickly i actually would tell you um, to give this one a try love the formula i was actually surprised by how much i love the way that this looked on my eyes a fun little pop of color and something a little bit different okay the next item Item I'm going to share with you. I admit fully that I bought it for the packaging, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by the quality. So I did end up picking up this gorgeous Gucci palette. This is the gorgeous Flora palette. And of course, the packaging is just so stunning. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I am more of a quad girl, love single eyeshadows. I don't love palettes, but this one just looked so pretty. I couldn't resist the packaging. But I have to tell you, I've actually been using this mini palette here, and I really like the consistency of these shadows. They're very buttery. I love the color story in here. A lot of neutrals that work really well, but I had so much fun playing around with this icy blue here. There's little pops of color in here that look gorgeous on the eyes kind of as eyeliner just for a little pop of color like you don't have to go overboard but you can give yourself a little pizzazz here but if you are not somebody who loves colorful shadows like these um, there's plenty of these really nice neutrals and they really are fantastic quality. I've actually been happy with this purchase and of course it just looks so pretty on my vanity that it makes you want to pick it up and use it as well. Okay before we get back to a little bit more eyeshadow, as I said it's eyeshadow heavy this month, I did pick up two Chanel brushes that I have fallen in love with and this is the eyeshadow blender number 204 and I've really been loving this dome shaped tip on this brush because it is great for wanting to add in color to the outer V but also go ahead and bring it up into that crease it's a little bit more dense so I really have been using it kind of on that outer and then just pulling in a little bit of shade with this pencil. So I tend to really like my refer number 14, like the fluffy brush here. This is one of my favorites. I love Wayne Goss. I love my I love my Sonia G Crease Pro as well as all my Wayne Goss brushes. I'm thinking it's number 16 that I use all the time from him, but I wanted something just a teeny bit more dense um, to really kind of define at the outer V and then also a pencil that is going to be great for using eyeshadow as liner and this one is the eyeliner number 205 and it is so good you guys because I can literally just kind of come right through with the shadow it's very fine tipped here and then underneath the eyelashes here I tend to just do a little bit of shadow underneath there but it is so precise that I feel like I don't get it so underneath the eyes like I don't I want a little bit of shadow under there but but not too much for my more mature eyes so these are two Chanel brushes that I've actually been loving so I thought I would share those because I've been getting a lot of use out of these okay and speaking of brushes as well as a foundation Westman Atelier had launched her Vital Skincare Complexion Drops and I wanted to follow up because I was waiting for 
new shade to show up before doing another video because the first shade I bought in 0.5 was a bit too light. So I did pick it up in shade two and then I had a woman write me who is like my skin twin and she was like, you need number three. So number three should be showing up momentarily and then I will be showing you two and three on my skin but yes I actually do really like this foundation but this is going to be for those of you that just like a nice little skin tint you do not um, maybe typically wear makeup or you're expecting a bunch of coverage that will knock out some people I know um, but this does have skincare in it as I said it feels like a dry oil it feels very nourishing to the skin so I think I am going to love it once I find the right shade I always have a little bit of a tough time picking out her foundation colors um, they do have a foundation finder there but I like put mine in and they are all over the map from like seven down to 0.5. So I think the best thing to do is actually send them a picture of your skin, preferably without makeup, and then they will write you back and tell you what shade to get. And I had done that and they had told me two or and they had told me two or three. So you can expect a follow-up video on this Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. I'm just waiting for that number three to show up. I did purchase the brush and I do really love it. This is a splurge brush. I really like her brushes. They just clean up like a champ. Um, I just think they are so nice and they're just really so nice and soft. But one thing I will tell you is, I found that this foundation actually works better with fingertips versus using this brush. So I've actually been using this brush with other foundations and I just really like it. It just really buffs the foundation into my skin. It makes it very seamless. So I've been getting use out of this, but if you were thinking about buying it along with this, I actually prefer my fingertips. Um, I actually prefer the finish using my fingertips versus this brush. So one or two give you a heads up about that. Okay, we're about to have a little bit of a Shantikai moment because I literally have so many favorites from the past month that I am obsessed with. And I'm gonna start with the Shantikai Sheer Glow Rose Tint. And you guys, this stuff is amazing. So I have been using this religiously under my makeup as a primer and then on good skincare and then on good skin days I've just literally been using this rose tint that's what I'm wearing underneath my skin today guys um I'll wear this with a concealer just where I need it and I just I feel like it makes my skin look so glowy so healthy and this feels so fabulous on your skin as well so I'm actually making Making a nice little dent in here but let me show you the texture here it feels very cool on the skin very hydrating and here is this tint and it's got a little bit of a rose tint to it and that is going to help brighten up the skin and this is what I love about this one because I actually liked the kind of bronze version that they launched during the summer um, gave me a nice little healthy glow kind of fake tan and this one is going to be perfect as we are transitioning into fall and it just gives my skin this very nice glow and I just find that it's also kind of giving my skin a little extra hydration. It is like plumping it up. It's got ceramides in here and it is gel based. So it feels very much like future skin, but in a nice tint. And again, you can wear this just on its own to kind of give yourself a little blur of vision on your 
face. It's going to give your skin that sort of magical little glow. It's not going to have a lot of coverage. So you can use this as a primer or if you're just running errands and you just want a little something on your skin to make it look like your skin but better and then spot conceal with a concealer, I think you're going to really like the results. And again, always love something that's going to kind of be good for my skin as well. So this has been a complete winner. I've been using it every single day and cannot give it enough kudos. Okay, continuing on with a little bit of Shantikai love, but they launched their fall 2022 collection and you guys I love it all so I seriously do I will tell you if I was going to get one or the other I'll narrow it down for you but personally I love Cougar this is just the perfect everyday eye quad and one of the reasons I like it so much you guys is that it's got of course these really pretty neutral shades in here um, this really pretty bronze over here, but it's got this matte gray and I love a gray smoky eye. So to me, this is the best of both worlds because it's got the browns in here. It's got that lovely vanilla just to kind of even everything out. But this gray is stunning and I just feel like it is such a perfect everyday smoky eye look. I love it. And its packaging is just stunning. So want to give you a little look here but you can see that all of the shades correlate inside there is a little bit of gray in here it's just so pretty so this is the one that people would categorize as more boring but I don't think so at all. I think it makes kind of a cool glam eye. I love this for neutrals. And then the Black Jaguar is amazing. So this one has this gorgeous dazzling ink blue that I am obsessed with. It's got this gorgeous bronze color, this pearl, and then a nice matte black on the bottom. And this one you can totally do an everyday eye look. I recently did a video about it and I just used the blue as my liner um, and it just looked like a little teeny pop of color but it wasn't too dramatic. And then I also created a more dramatic eye but for my Self, um, I like to wear it a little bit more subtly using this ink blue as my eyeliner and it's just so pretty. So I was laughing. I had people coming at me and saying, okay, if I'm just going to get one, which one would I get? And I was having a hard time telling them which one to get. Cougar's like your perfect smoky eye look all in one. Um, but Black Jaguar is stunning and you may not have something like this in your collection. So, so pretty Personally, I love both of these. The one that I have been wearing the most, of course, is Cougar just on the day to day. So if that helps, I hope so. I get it. It's hard. And there's so many launches right now um, that it does make it hard. But if you're looking for something a little bit more unique and special, I would definitely pick up Black Jaguar. And then of course they launched their lip sheets along with the collection and I was having such a hard time narrowing these down because I love all four of them. So the lip sheet formula from Shantikai is like ultimate favorite. It is going to be a very hydrating and glossy lipstick. So if you are somebody who likes that similar kind of texture, then I think you're probably going to love all four of these. Let me show you the colors right here. The two right over here are the Cougar colors. And this first one is a peachy nude yarrow. Next one is Prairie Smoke. This is one of my favorites. I just love that one. It's more of a mocha nude color. Then over here we have this Passiflora, which is going to be a little bit of a mauve nude. It's so pretty, you guys. Great everyday shade. And then we've got Orchid, which I am in love with. So out of these, if I just had to pick one from each category, I would do Prairie Smoke and then Orchid. Um, those are like the two that I reach for the most, but to be honest with you, I like all of these colors. They're really easy to wear, but if you were just going to pick like one nude color, it would be Prairie Smoke, 
and then one more of a bold color. This orchid is so pretty, you guys. I am in love with orchid. This is a must in my... Okay, I have two more lip products and Chanel launched a bunch of nude shades and my favorite out of the bunch and that is 196 and that is this shade right here and it is a demi... I believe it is not. My eyeballs are not working great here. But I want to just show you this really pretty nude shade here. I really like this for an everyday color. And honestly, all of them look so pretty. But I tend to be somebody who likes to wear a little bit more of a glossy lip on my particular self. I only picked up one of these, but I'm loving the shade that I picked out. And then last but not least, I have to share this new discovery with you because number one, it is only $15. As I've mentioned so many times before, I love a good gloss, you guys. Kind of obsessed with lip gloss or these sort of shiny lipsticks. That's what I tend to gravitate towards. But when I was at Sephora, I picked up this Tower 28, and this is in the shade Sesame. And these are these lip jellies and they are so good you guys so so good and this color is just perfection so is that just the most perfect color ever love it this is described as a milky mauve color and the actual name of these is shine on lip jelly non-sticky gloss $15. They have so many pretty colors. This is also a clean brand and these are so nourishing on the lips. It includes apricot kernel oil, raspberry seed oil, rose hip oil, and you guys, they feel fantastic on the lips. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And when I was there, there were so many shades that were missing because these are sold out. I think it is a best seller and I can see why because the colors are great. The formula is fantastic and it is also a clean brand. So bonus. And this is the shade Sesame. I also wanted to pick up Oat. Looked really pretty. That's a semi sheer milky peachy pink. Coconut was a milky rosy pink. It was also cashew, which is a milky rosy brown. Like pretty much any of these colors are just gorgeous, but they do have some pigmentation in them. So they're not going to be too sheer. And again, they feel fabulous. And I just love it because 15 bucks, you guys, for an amazing lip gloss. Okay, so those were some beauty products that I've just been obsessed with. Then another highlight from the month of August was that I actually traveled to Monterey. I met my son Emmett for a little mother-son trip together and we just had the best time. I think I've mentioned this a few hundred times, but I love that part of the world, Pacific Grove, Carmel, Monterey, just an amazing part of the world. It is stunningly beautiful, so charming, and a big Monterey car show was going on, which is quite a big deal. Um, there is a bunch of cars, you guys, that were so fancy. I didn't even know the names of them or that they even existed. Um, there's these Revion sort of like trucks and SUVs that are like crazy expensive, but they're like electric. And then there was all these cool vintage like BMWs and Mercedes and Audis and such. So the event itself was definitely for more like car people which I'm not really one of, but my son is. And it was so fun to go on a mother-son trip with him and to see him geek out. That's part of his job. So it was so much fun to have a little trip with my son. And we had actually flown into San Francisco so that we could spend a day there. And we went to ZGO Perfumery and had the most amazing experience, a little scent experience there. And I just wanted to give a little shout out to Gris Charnel from BDK 
because this is something that I already owned and loved. And this is a beautiful fig tea sort of spicy scent. And this is a perfume slash cologne that my son picked out for himself and it made me fall in love with it again. And this is a very gorgeous aromatic fig tea scent like this one is stunning and I always thought of this as more of a warm scent like when I first tried it on because there is cardamom in here it's got this lovely spice element to it but cardamom can also lean a bit more fresh especially on Emmett this fragrance just really smelled sort of fresh and clean on him whereas when I first started wearing this I thought this was more of a warm fragrance but now that I kind of have experienced it on him and the way that it was described to him I love that this has sort of a cool element to it as well because he gravitates towards more freshy, clean fragrances. And then I had my husband smell this as well and he fell in love with it. So I just wanted to give Gris Charnel a little shout out because my whole family loves it and I've just kind of re-fallen in love with this fragrance and have been wearing it often this past month. So since I do buy fragrance Friday series now. We won't go into too many perfumes. I did want to do one more shout out for Blanche Bette. This was one that so many of you had told me that I need to get that you knew I was going to fall in love with it and you were absolutely right. Oh my gosh you guys this is so freaking good. This is a very milky soft floral. It is just addictive and <laughs> I have been making a huge dent. I don't know if you can see that, but literally I have been wearing this nonstop for the past month plus. Um, I wear this at least a few times a week. That's how much I love it. So I wanted to say thank you so much. Totally obsessed. Definitely a favorite from the past month. Okay, we're going to move on to a bit of fashion and if you've been following my channel for a bit of time you guys know that I am a sweater girl. So when I was in Carmel one of my favorite shops is Brochu Walker and they are known for their sweaters like kind of a one piece where it will have like a shirt sewn into the sweater. So I ended up picking up Okay, trying to show you the best. I'm a little squeezed in here, you guys, but I just wanted to show you some of the details of this Raya. It's ruched sweater here, and it is a crew neck, but I just love the little shirt that peeks out of here. So it's actually quite classic and I just fell in love with it. Now I did try it on in an extra small as well as a small. I could have gone either way, but I like the way that the small sort of laid a little bit better than the extra small. But of course I liked the sleeves in the extra small just a teeny bit better, but it's such a fabulous quality sweater, super soft. And the reason I like these is it's sort of my uniform. I can just throw on one of these sweaters and look very put together as if I'm wearing like a shirt as well as a sweater, but it's all in one. Just easy. So we have a few of the Brochu Walker sweaters and I just love the quality of them. They are definitely more of an investment sweater, but to me they're sort of like an easy uniform. Like anytime I wear any of those sweaters, I always get asked where I got it, number one, because it looks like quality. It also just looks very put together. Throw on a little jewelry. You can wear your nice jeans and look just a little bit more elevated. So if you are a fellow sweater obsessed person, I would definitely check Olaf out. wants to come and say hello everybody. He just woke up from his little baby nap. But if you ever want me to do a full sweater video, <laughs> I would be happy to do so since, uh oh, I guess he likes the Tower 28 lip gloss as well. Um, um, but I'd be, but let me know because I have plenty of sweaters to share from Brochu Walker as well as Jenny Kane. Um, so that could be a fun video idea. 
but anyways just wanted to give you a little update and show you how big little baby O has gotten let me just show you his size guys look how big he is now and he is just the softest little furriest little boy so sweet so I think he's gonna sit here right on my lap while I show you the last two sweaters and these were both birthday gifts but I'm absolutely obsessed with them so the first one is this Jenny Kane cashmere hoodie and this beautifully luxe super soft cashmere hoodie has been on my list forever to pick up at one of the Jenny Kane sales and I have to say it is definitely worth it so this again is a bit of an investment But I literally wore this sweater daily when I was in Monterey. So the temperature in Monterey, California is very temperate. Like the highs were like 67 um, and the mornings were in the 50s. So it definitely was cooler definitely sweater weather so I brought out all of my favorites and you guys this is just so comfy so luxe it is also like the perfect airport sweater to wear because it's just so comfortable but it is just so comfy you are gonna live in this it is so soft again I just love the oatmeal color and I would say this is definitely worth the splurge because I wore it like almost every single day. And once the weather gets a bit cooler here, I'm gonna be wearing this like daily. So this sweater was worth the wait to get and this was a little birthday gift. So love, love, love it. And then when I was in Carmel, I popped into their anthropology and I saw the most adorable cashmere sweater. And you guys know I love pink but this is so cute. So I wanna show you this one as well. Isn't this so adorable? And again, this is a beautiful cashmere sweater. This has got a little bit of waffle in it, but it was this adorable little band of pink in here. It's got a little bit of pink stitching around the top, just a little bit that just made this so special. This is from the Anthropology brand Pilcro, and I have to tell you that it is just super soft, very high quality sweater. It is a little bit boxy, but it is in a cute way, slightly cropped. It is a little bit longer in the back than in the front just slightly and I have this in an extra small and the Jenny Kane was also an extra small. I cannot wait to wear this one. So love this color. They described this as honey color and again the little selling point here was the pink little band. Just loved it and I used a little gift card towards the sweater. Definitely felt like it was a special purchase and again I don't feel like you can go wrong with cashmere. So and then the last fashion item I want to give a shout out to is during the Nordstrom sale I ended up picking up these chunky loafers and these are from AGL. This was not a brand that I knew of. Evidently it's from Italy and I have to tell you that these are so freaking comfortable you guys. They are just slightly chunky. They're not too oversized but they're so darn cute and anytime I wear these I get compliments on them because it just looks so perfect with like this sweater wearing jeans and then I slip on my loafers and I just feel like although I am casually dressed I am kind of put together so I wanted to give a shout out to these brand I don't know if I can find the exact these are the Ida platform loafers but there is another pair that I saw that's very similar to these and they are just so comfortable and I picked these up in a seven and a half that was the size that came back in stock. I generally wear a seven or a seven and a half and these totally work. So comfortable, so cute, and I've just been getting a lot of wear out of these already. Okay guys, those were my favorites from the past 
month. So many new goodies launching every day. So I have some more fun videos coming your way, but I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and I will be back with another video soon.